Generation Z. Not a lot is known yet about the 23 million children born in this generation. One thing is sure, we know what kind of technologically advanced environment they're growing up in, and we know it can empower them, consume them, or destroy them. Children of this generation leave a digital footprint before they can even type or walk. An average of 973 photos of a child in the U.S. are shared online before his or her fifth birthday. You've seen it. You probably do it. First haircut, first tooth, first steps. Then it's on to the first day of preschool. Within minutes, 20 of your closest friends have seen it and liked it. Two days later, your friend sends you a link where you see your child's photo, but you have no idea just who it is that claims to be her new mommy. Digital kidnapping is one of the latest and creepiest technology trends and one of the newest forms of identity theft. Simply put, Digital kidnapping is the risk of putting your own child's photos on social media. Online predators will steal parents' online photos and claim them as their own children, give them new names, and engage in role-playing. Through role-play, digital kidnappers create new identities for the child and invite others to join in. While most would say the comments are seemingly innocent, it doesn't take long for the conversation to turn disturbing. Some role players even use these photos to act out violent, abusive, and sexual fantasies. No laws exist to prohibit sharing photos of children on social media, just as digital kidnapping is not considered a crime. Several victims of digital kidnapping have unsuccessfully attempted to contact Facebook or Instagram to remove the photos, but were met with disdain. Digital kidnapping doesn't seem to violate Instagram's photo sharing policy, and because these role players are anonymous, it is almost impossible to track down the offenders. One of the most surprising suspicions about this phenomenon is that psychologists believe the majority of digital kidnappers are teens and preteens who fantasize about having a perfect family. However, other psychologists believe there is a darker side behind this. The internet can be a place for fetishists and others who practice socially deviant behaviors, including those that require children or some element of childhood for their personal fulfillment or sexual gratification, according to psychologist Dr. Justin D'Arzano. This small but growing trend should serve as a wake-up call to parents. They need to adjust or change their privacy settings online or take advantage of privacy apps such as KidsLink an app designed to encourage families to think before they share online. KidsLink provides families with a secure online database to share photos with 10 to 20 close family members or friends and remains stalker-free because you cannot search for people on KidsLink unless you have their phone number. For photos you've already shared, you can use TinEye, a reverse search and recognition website to determine if and where your photos have been reposted. Similar reverse search functions exist on Google Chrome, Firefox, and Google Images. By dragging a photo into the search bar and pressing enter, this will pull up any website on which your photos have been reposted. Another option is to use a watermark app to protect your photos online. There are a number of apps that can stamp your photos or videos so that no matter where they show up online, they are marked with copyright privileges. Other cloud photo storage services allow users to share access to photos while allowing you to revoke access as well. If Facebook and Instagram are a must, make sure to adjust your privacy settings and limit it to your friends only. These privacy settings can change without notice. So stay updated. Keep an eye on Facebook's face recognition technology and opt out when it becomes an option. In addition, before posting, consider what can be inferred from the photo. Anything from a school logo to familiar landmarks in your neighborhood to family vacation spots can provide information as to where you go. Follow these precautions to ensure digital kidnapping doesn't turn into real kidnapping. Your child's future is quite literally in your hands.